Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to teach you some very useful slang vocabulary to take your conversational English to the next level. First of all, what is slang? A lot of people know this term, but not everyone can give a correct definition. So we could say that slang is a type of vocabulary that's very informal and that is used by a specific group of people. So there are, for example, slang words that are used by teenagers, others that are used by older people in a given country. So we have British slang, US slang, and so on. In this video, I'm going to give you some slang words that are pretty much understood by everyone and that are very common to hear in today's society. Of course, before we start, I must tell you that slang is very informal. So when you're at school and let's say you're writing an essay, you should avoid slang because it will be considered a mistake. However, slang is very important in spoken communication. That's why I believe it's a crucial part of learning English. So without further ado, let's start with the first word, bucks. Bucks is a US slang for dollars. So if I say I need five bucks, it simply means I need five dollars. Four bucks. Four bucks. The British version of this is quid. So 10 quid is a British slang for 10 pounds. 600 quid. The British also have a slang for five and 10 pounds, which are a fiver and a tenner. Now, if we're talking about thousands of dollars or thousands of pounds, we can also use the slang word grand. So if I say 20 grand, it means $20,000 or 20,000 pounds, depending on which currency we're talking about. It works for both. 10 grand. Low key. This is a very interesting slang word because its meaning is quite difficult to explain, but at the same time, we know exactly what it means. Let's say that low key is used to describe someone's thoughts, feelings, and desires. And it means something like secretly, like I'm low key in love with him. That means I'm secretly in love. It's kind of like you don't even want to admit it. I'm low key in love. It could also mean to some extent, kind of. For example, I low key look good today. Like, I don't wanna sound vain, I'm not saying I'm gorgeous, but I think I look kind of cute today. I low-key look good. Solid. Now, we all know what solid means, but when it's used as a slang word, it can mean different things. One of them is excellent. So if I say, that's a solid plan, it means it's a very good plan. It's excellent. Solid plan. It can also be said of a person. In that case, it means that they are reliable. He's a solid dude, for example. He's a reliable person. He's a reliable guy. Solid can also mean favor. Can you do me a solid? That means, can you do me a favor? Hey, will you do me a solid? Before we go on, let me quickly talk to you about today's sponsor, Live XP. LiveXP is an online platform where you can find language tutors for private one-on-one -on -one lessons. There are more than 30 languages available. One of the coolest features is that you can filter tutors by interest. So you'll find your perfect match on LiveXP to master your conversation skills, polish your accent, and improve your pronunciation. If you have an intermediate or advanced level, you can choose tutors who are native speakers. Otherwise, if you're a beginner, you could also start with a professional teacher who knows your language. Of course, in both cases, you can learn and practice at your own pace. After you found your tutor, you can book a 30 minute trial lesson with them for only 99 cents. If you decide to continue, you can buy a subscription and get 30% off with my special code, Antonio30. Give it a try and let me know if you like it. Now let's go on with the slang words. Stan. Stan is a very common slang among teenagers. It can be both a noun and a verb, and it's used to indicate someone that is a fan. So for example, I could say that I'm a Mariah Carey stan. That means I'm a fan of hers, a lamb, you could say. However, be careful with this word because stan often has a negative connotation to it because it could mean that you are an obsessed fan. I think it was a term that was popularized by Eminem. 
one of his songs. As I said, it could also be used as a verb. So you could say, we stan Harry Styles. That means we love him, we're a fan of his. To bail. If you bail on someone, it means you're canceling your plans with that person. Let's say you were supposed to meet a girl, you were supposed to have a date with a girl, and she suddenly sends you a message saying that she's not coming anymore. She bailed on you. You're bailing on us? Another slang used to say this is flake out. She flaked out. That means she canceled last minute or even that she didn't show up at all, that she stood you up. Bro, don't flake out on this. You're going to love it here. To bail can also mean to leave suddenly with great urgency. For example, sorry guys, I got to bail on you. My parents are waiting for me. That means I have to go. I have to leave right now. I have to bail on you. Beat. If you're beat, it means that you're very, very tired. You're exhausted. I'm so beat. I really need to go to bed. I'm beat. Now, this slang is mainly used in the US. The British version of this is knackered. If you're knackered, you're spent. You're exhausted. You're very, very tired. I'm knackered. Ghost. I'm pretty sure you know what a ghost is. Well, if you use this term as a verb, then it becomes a slang to indicate the end of a relationship by simply disappearing. Say you're talking to a guy, he seems to be into you, but then you realize you don't really like him, so you stop texting him. You start to ignore his messages. You ghosted him. That means you disappeared. You ghosted me. Have you ever been ghosted by someone? Let me know in the comments. Chill. Chill is a super common slang which can be used both as an adjective and a verb. You can say that someone is chill. Ross is very chill. That means he's an easygoing, relaxed kind of person. Or you could use chill as a verb, like let's chill. That means let's relax or even let's calm down. Chill. Legit. Legit is used when you want to emphasize a concept and it works kind of like honestly, seriously, truly. For example, I legit thought that you were joking. That means I honestly thought that you were joking. Or you could use legit to describe something. The party was legit. It means the party was cool. It was nice. She's legit. Of course, legit is an abbreviation of the word legitimate. So you could also use it to mean that. That Rolex seems legit. So it seems like it's not false. Bummer. Bummer means disappointment. When something unpleasant or annoying happens. Oh, what a bummer. For example, let's say that you really wanted to go out for a walk, but it starts to rain. What a bummer. Bummer. It can also be said of a person. Don't be such a bummer. That means stop ruining the fun. Another way to say this is stop being a buskill or stop being a bummer. What a bummer that this video has already come to an end. Nevertheless, I hope you have learned some legit words and that you're not too beat to do me a solid and share this video with your friends. Hit the like and subscribe button. And if you like, you could also support my work by sending me a super thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.